Hello, Kevs. This right here, what you are witnessing, is the inside of my base. But I'm gonna have to go outside before I show you everything. <laughs> so, this is the entrance to my cozy forest cliffside house. As you can see, there is a beautiful garden, a place to rest, wonderful, wonderful flowers. Um, there is also this here, which is a beautiful area and nothing is wrong with it. Um, <laughs> um, um, here we have a water. A water stream, as you know from Craftopia, I like water streams. It goes into this cave. Then this here is the said cave. And then it comes out again. Over here is also this pond, which revolves around this pumpkin. It goes down here. This further leads even further into the ocean, into this river here. Behind it is a little cave and I'm going to show you a overview of the general area here. This is the minimap. This is the area where I'm in at. Um, here would be a small ocean, but this is, this is the area. Um, I have encased everything with a small hedge. I think I can walk along the hedge. Uh, I think, nah, I think a four is better. Um, so everything should be kind of safe from any mobs. <laughs> um, so this is the general space of this area. And inside is a lot of moss. There are a lot of flowers. There's a little field. And as Loyal suggested, I have torches in every tree. I bet you haven't noticed that yet. And yeah, I still have a little ugly cow pen and an air portal. I have to fix those. But coming to the houses. So I might need some advice on these because I think the houses from the top, the roofs from the top look really good. Like this, this is a really good looking roof from the top, but from the bottom it just feels a little bit too goofy. Uh, I generally made the houses in the gooby style, so that's the roof, the, that, that's the house. That's a, that's a nice overview of the house and the tower from, from 360, going all around. Um, but uh, it uh, it has at the bottom cobblestone, then it goes into spruce. It also has wood, as coverings. It's the same here. It's the same building style, and then it goes over to oak, and it also has this. Um, there is a bridge connecting those two. An outdoor area small balcony this has a lot of a lot of windows and the wood beams are supporting it and here a giant tree is supporting it so i think this is everything from the outside that i've done here is also a cave um so i think i can move to the inside now so here we are, here we, we, we just went in with a bell. We have, I guess this is also a doorbell. <laughs> we have the usual things, a bed, a clock, a bunch of storages with very interesting, very interesting names. And everything is very light. You can look out out of many windows, except those, those are blocked off, this one too. You have the second story up here. 
which is just a small attic where I could expand upon the chests and have them go way further upwards and this is a very cozy place and there is also a basement a basement with cobbled deep slate a furnace area um, and all the normal utilities. I don't have bookshelves yet. And here we come over to the bridge. You could also call it balcony. You can look down here. This is beautiful. Uh, you can also jump like this. So I don't have to always go there. But this doesn't serve a purpose yet. It also has a basement and also has a top floor. But there isn't anything yet. And yeah, this is my house so far. This is stream 10. I'm at like 60 days, I think. Um, day 63. So yeah, this is my house so far. I don't usually build houses like this. That's why I wanted to do this. Thanks for watching.